Well, ladies and gentlemen, at this particular time, I'm here to let you know that it's a brand new day. And yet, brand new days means a brand new story to tell, a brand new chapter. Who knows, right? Well, it's obvious that summer is dying. And right now, there's something on my mind. And just like I said, um, I'm, I will be sending a link to a brand new video. Well, I'm going to send a link to the last video, the uh, my take on me reminiscing about 9-11 after, after 19 years of an American tragedy. But for this, this video right now, it's going to be different. Now, it's, this one is entitled, What is YouTube? What is YouTube? When you think of the words YouTube, you're thinking about a logo with the red, with the red box and a white triangle. You click on it and you see a whole lot of videos from music to to camera um, to filming things with a video camera or a phone to refer to the games that you miss but you have a chance to watch them in different parts part one part two part three part four even when it comes to watching movies that you never knew about nor seen before but what is a youtuber a person that decides to make content make videos and do it for many reasons some would like to chat others would like to perform give their give their uh, voice out for the people to listen to and others they just like to uh do vlogs and do reaction videos some emotions they start to uh create attention some start to make cringe towards other viewers viewers like you and thanks to you we feel like we're in a we're in a crossroads a downfall but at the same time we never thought we would have a whole lot of subscribers or a lot of likes in the video based on the content that we create like what is YouTube without Charmix what is YouTube without India reacts what is YouTube without Pink Metalhead D Chanel Brandon Rashad Blasphemous HD KT What's YouTube without Dr. J and the women? And it was a old thing that he did. Well, what's YouTube without Chavez Slovakia? What is YouTube without Skyview Ray? What is YouTube without um, Mark Plyer, PewDiePie, Rucka Rucka Ali? What is YouTube? Without all the reactors, all of the individuals who give their content for the people to see for themselves. And for those that are trying their very best, even though they have a slow start right now, just like myself, T.C. Jones Edis, but I always call out my real name, Taylor Jones, because as I, as I recall... I am in a different state of mind. But the question is, how can a YouTuber make it big? How can one video ch change everybody's life? How can we avoid getting dislikes and getting more likes? Why do we have to change up our videos especially when it's boring what's the point of being a youtuber what's the point of watching YouTube videos what is the point of dealing with everyday situations without YouTube giving us 
a chance to avoid the downfalls. You know, questions like these made me think that YouTube is not to be messed with. Just like Wu-Tang Clan. They ain't nothing to mess with. Well, YouTube is nothing to mess with neither. But at the same time, why do some of us avoid the rules? Why do we have to deal with copyright claims? Why does it matter? So many questions are left unanswered for a good reason. Because some of the answers that we're trying to find out is leading to the fact that we're starting to be rebels. Rebellious. Starting to criticize YouTube when you know it's you that are that who's making the content making it worse for yourself and for the fans and the other people that are watching. That's why we get dislikes. So how can we overcome that? How can we make YouTube a big a big name? We we know about the the stardom the stardoms including YouTubers that became celebrities had some roles on a TV show such as 10 second songs Anthony Vince and shout out to you for making your channel go over over the top because you love to do every song you can think of because the fans expect you to come up with 20 different styles or maybe even 40 and you entertain us you entertain me so and also what's YouTube without modern renaissance man an African American man who is never afraid to to say what's on his mind based on reality issues including doing reaction videos first time I watched him react to a music video I was like oh man he really he really got some good uh, feel he knows some some real feel good feel to music <laughs> even as a surprise like he didn't expect Living Color to be a black rock star band. He didn't expect the Everly Brothers to have have us have some soul as if it's they sound like a black band from the 60s like the Motown sound. But it's more than that. It's more than Mr. Ah. Uh, don't believe me? Just ask YouTuber Just to Neil. Ask um, who else is a YouTuber? Hmm. Jason Paradise that plays with his Guitar Hero guitar. And even when it comes to, to playing songs that are actually the memes, the remix of memes. So much to be thankful for. But at the same time, so much to rely on at the same time so much to recommend as in how to overcome it you think YouTube is so easy well it's not there are some things that we don't understand how can we make a YouTube intro and then add the video that we're making with it when YouTube doesn't show us how. There's no need to blame YouTube. There's no need to be completely stressed out over some small things. We can learn a thing or two with other other softwares. Like for instance, I use Capwing to create my YouTube intro. And I was the only individual that's been watching it and for right now my so-called intro has 14 or 15 views because I'm the one that's watching it over and over and over again 
I'm the one that created my own own intro. I liked how it looked. I liked my like like the theme song because I created it. It takes time. It takes skills to create your YouTube channel. If you can make something to make it more cool, unless you got to change it up a bit. Because next thing you know, I got to come up with a way to make an intro. If I can make an intro for my YouTube channel, I can make an outro as well. But I got to change up my themes, my theme a little bit. Got to change a the theme song because. As I recall, I did mention that I will make a season two of Cold Man's Winter when I talk about random things, just like I did throughout this year, earlier from late January until March. And then I had to stop at March because whenever spring hits, Cold Man's Winter is over and I have to wait until next December to make a new season and if I'm lucky I would have a bigger fan base but right now I do not 12 subscribers is not enough so I need to step my game up what about you guys you gotta step your game up too and that's the way it works cause if you don't know how to deal with this YouTube life then why are you here because you do what you love if you love to watch YouTube and learn to come up with your own plans to make your own YouTube channels and be on the laptop or the face next thing you know you probably have a whole lot of views to the fact that you're a hit we already know about Despacito with around 1 million views or more than that including This Is America don't catch you slipping now. Don't catch you slipping now. Look what I'm whipping now. As much as we remember Hooper Gangnam Style and It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. And they all went and hit 100, 100 million views. We even thought about the older videos, the older YouTube videos that made it this far. The Bed Intruder song. Well, obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your window, snatching some people up, trying to rape them. So y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wives, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. And who would ever forget about chocolate rain? Some stay dry and others feel the pain. Shout out to Antoine Dotson and shout out to Tayson Day. But what about the, the same guy that made This Is America that I recited? Because he actually had a start on YouTube. Danny Glover, aka Childish Gambino, he had a start on YouTube and now he's blowing up. Comedy star, actor, rapper, singer, he can do it all. And it's all thanks to YouTube. You know, it's kind of funny that living the life doing YouTube videos and getting a lot of views, even if you have a whole lot of dislikes or people that does not care about your content, that's why they never watch your videos, except you, the creator, you have to watch it over and over again. Heck, when was the last time we heard a YouTuber that liked his or her own videos? It can happen. They just want to feel appreciated for what they do. And that's the key key thing that everybody wants. They want they want to feel welcome even though they are part of the YouTube community. But at the same time, we have to get ready to deal with monetizing. Like watch what you say, watch what you do, watch what you put up. Even when you have to blur blur out the videos at some points, like overrated sex jokes from YouTube poops, even from from uh, videos that is not supposed to be kid friendly, and we got to deal with the COPA laws, the cop, the kid 
kid laws is this video available for kids we can't just blur blur any video out as much as we have to mute every video or find the clean version but at the same time every video we react to we have to give give the original credits that's why we always say the link to the original video will be in the description box down below make sure you're right about this stay true to what you believe in and if you are down with YouTube stick with that that's what YouTube's about. Coming up with your materials in a smart way, in an entertaining way. Even if it's boring, you have to keep going. You got to change up a bit. Like, get rid of the boring and try to make it more entertainment. Try to make it more educational, informal, self self awareness. Self awareness is what we need for for making a YouTube video increase and I know I gotta do a whole lot more for my own YouTube videos myself and with all that being said this is yours truly Taylor Jones letting you know what YouTube is like so I asked the question I had to answer it for you guys just to see if you get in the hang of things and to all the YouTubers that I that I called out I am not ashamed I would like to give much respect to all of y'all, one after another. And that's exactly how it is. And also, a big shout out to Blood Spilling Lizard or BSL Reaction Asylum. Even though it's been a while since he made the videos. And also, Dave Madsen. Dave Madsen, this also goes out to you. Keep doing your thing the YouTube thing and try to keep me entertained from one YouTuber towards another it's best that I give recognition and for all you viewers out there if you like what you're hearing and you're surprised on where I'm coming from with this all you gotta do is these following things like this video thumbs up comment comment what would what you would do to for your YouTube videos and give me some advice on how I can change up my videos if I want to have more likes more views share this in social medias from Twitter Facebook face wait I said that I was about to say Facebook twice <laughs> Facebook Twitter Instagram and other social medias and finally S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E. Subscribe to my YouTube channels, TC Jones edit, Edits, and there will be more in stores coming your way. Live and direct, this is yours truly, Taylor Jones, signing out.